Incineration, Draconic, and Flame Weaving. Three unique sources of firepower nestled within the Pyromancer class. The Pyromancer is, at its core, what a Fire Mage could have been, but will never live up to. And with this class, we aim to truly make you feel like a master of flames. One of the first places I ever saw a Pyromancer mentioned in the lore that really stands out to me in good detail was during the Troll Wars, where the High Elves of Quel'Thalas fought against the Forest Trolls of Northern Lordaeron, such as those located in the modern-day Ghostlands and the Hinterlands and Eversong Woods itself at the time. Trolls, being capable of regenerating limbs, were extremely hard to kill for the Elves of Quel'Thalas, but through the use of powerful fire magic and their human allies, they were able to burn the trolls to death, cauterizing their wounds before they could regenerate and slaying them without regret. Fire magic is one of the most iconic forms of magic in World of Warcraft history, and in the lore itself, it serves multiple purposes, both as a purifier, a cleanser, and a force of destruction. Whether it's burning the bodies of the undead, or burning your enemies to a crisp, a pyromancer remains as one of the most powerful casters in the World of Warcraft universe. In Koa, this is the lore and the fantasy we hope to give you with the design of the pyromancer class. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's jump right in. <laughs> In Koa, Pyromancers use mana to manipulate fire to both heal allies and damage enemies. They are what you would expect in the case of being a caster, using cloth, armor, and staves, and a variety of offhand and possibly swords and dagger weapons as well. They are the all-around quintessential fire users in Conquest of Azeroth, and they boast a variety of impressive visuals and spells in their kits. One of the very first things you'll notice on a Pyromancer is the ability to use Overheat which empowers your next fire spell to trigger its overheat effect. Various spells within the Pyromancer kit will have overheat effects, such as Ignite, which strikes up to five additional enemies when you use it with the overheat, or the Scorching Ray, which makes it instant cast and guaranteed to critically strike. Utilizing these different overheat effects to get maximal value out will turn the tide of a fight, and ultimately, you will be able to find multiple ways within the talent trees to augment the cooldown of overheat or improve the effectiveness of ability Abilities, which you can then overheat for even greater value. They are squishy, but powerful, often utilizing massive burst damage to destroy their foes after whittling them down with plenty of fire dots, with both DPS specs doing it in their own unique ways. As a healer though, Pyromancers are able to perform their role in multiple ways, including the ability to summon a phoenix and manipulate it to heal allies, or deal damage in order to bring life, and even heal in a more traditional way, with more standardly designed spells that you may be more used to seeing in uh, more traditional versions of World of Warcraft. In Koa, the Pyromancer's major weakness is its fragility. Pyromancers bring a multitude of different crowd control tools and unique movement abilities to the fray, but ultimately, with their cloth armor and minimal defensive tools, as well as an inability to find immunity through a divine shield or an ice block analog, they remain as an easy kill target. This gives the Pyromancer a high skill cap, as proper usage of their tools can more than make up for their squishiness, but improper play or one bad turn can quickly see you decimated by your enemies. For the talent trees, obviously as I said in the last video, we utilize the Dragonflight era talent trees for Koa, and this leaves the Pyromancer with plenty of room for extrapolation. So the main goal became to try to take the concept of a Fire Mage very loosely, I mean not even trying to reference it, but then broaden it to something you have never seen before. So again, conceptually, from a lore perspective, the Fire Mage is like the idea of a Pyromancer, but we wanted to take it 35 steps further and do something different that you haven't seen. So the class tree boasts a variety of unique spells for crowd control, mobility, and some still unique defensive capabilities that all pyromancers would want, as well as some unique mechanics such as the flame casting mechanic, which will get expanded upon in the flame weaving talent tree and the class tree capstones, as well as slag bending, which becomes one of the most important passive effects in the pyromancer class. There are three specs in pyromancer, uh, incineration, draconic, and flame weaving. Incineration remains as the most iconic 
iconic of the three Pyromancer specs, being a traditional firecaster with a heavy dot focus and strong burst damage at 40 yard range, utilizing things like Volcanic Burst coupled with a talent Magnitude 10 to absolutely burst people out of the stratosphere. Their main goal is to spread flames across the battlefield, racking up an unbelievable amount of damage on their enemies by lieu of that, and then pinpointing someone who deserves to die and blowing them up with Volcanic Fire. Draconic Pyromancers, on the other hand, are the complete opposite playstyle wise. They are pretty much a melee spec with a 15 yard range, and they are incredibly unique for the Pyromancer. So, what we do with this spec is we dive deeper into the lore of dragons and dragonkin, utilizing as much flavor from those aspects, pun intended, of World of Warcraft in their spell names, spell design, and talent tree as possible. So, for Draconic Pyros, you become the embodiment of a dragon itself. We took the form of a Drakthir with this, getting it from Dragonflight, of course, getting all the animations completely ported over, and I've gone out of my way specifically with Arcantos, um, another dev we have on the team, to really try to utilize this uh, to its maximal effect, creating flavor spells like Soar, but then also in combat spells like the powerful capstone known as Death from Above, which adds dramatic verticality to the Draconic Pyromancer tree, and it's also really cool looking as well. Draconic Pyros use a form of combo points known as Breath Charges, they fight in extremely close range as I said, and by lieu of this, without a stealth mechanic or an immunity mechanic, it really creates a very high skill cap playstyle, one in which you could legitimately have multiple people CC'd and burst people out in very cool ways, uh, or also find yourself getting shit on in the front lines. So it's really one of those specs where you are going to be rewarded for mastering it. Lastly, we have the Flame Weaving Pyromancer, and they are the healers of the Pyromancer class. They can deal damage in order to heal allies, control a phoenix, and command it to spread cleansing flames on the ground, and even create an inferno that pulses with purifying flames, healing all allies in a large radius, and then exploding for even more healing to the benefit of your allies. Uh, another spell I really like is called uh, like Flaming Pyre. It's a bottom left capstone at this point in Koa, and I created a talent for it that we'll see how it it works, you know, it's pretty neat, but it's fueling the fire where multiple pyromancers can actually utilize the same fire pyre to heal their raid or their group, dungeon, whatever you might be in, BG, whatever. You summon the pyre, multiple pyromancers fuel it with their fire, and it heals people for a lot. And I think it's really sick. I think it's so unique and cool, and that's probably my favorite spell in all of flame weaving. Uh, on top of this one, cleansing flames, because you just can't get over a freaking visual like that. You know, flame weaving pyromancers have some of the most unique design of any healer in Koa. The only healer really coming truly close might be flesh weaving son of Aragul or maybe like moon priest or something like that. And by lieu of that, they will not necessarily be easy to master for your average healer who is used to a more traditional design. But when mastered, Flame weaving pyromancers become one of the strongest healers in all of Conquest of Azeroth. So, design hurdles. I'm doing this for every single class, but I have to be honest, there are really no true design hurdles with the Pyromancer class right now, other than the ever-persisting fact that many people will inevitably compare it to a Fire Mage. And through that, they may miss out on the extremely unique aspects of this class. I cannot stress it enough. Pyromancer and Fire Mage are only as similar as their names. Um, that's about it. They do not play the same. I've played many versions of Fire Mage, perhaps not every version of Fire Mage, but I've played the Dragonflight version, i played Trilogy WoW versions, I've played a lot of versions of- i played Cataclysm Fire Mage, so I've played a lot of Fire Mage, and I don't think that Pyromancer currently plays at all like that. The closest thing that will make you feel like a Fire Mage, if you like that gameplay style, is when you could get a hot streak proc from the Pyroblast. We have a similar mechanic with Slag Bend, um, but it's not quite the same. Uh, it's just like similar conceptually, we see this in other classes as well, like Nightfall, procs on Warlock and stuff. It's a very similar concept, or, you know, Lava Burst procs. You see that as well with Elemental Shaman. It's the same concept, but because it's Fire Mage, Pyromancer, right, you're gonna really think Hot Streak when you see it. But it's fun, it's strong, and I'll tell you, it feels really good to play. The Pyromancer, much to the surprise of some, is not actually a pure DPS class, and that's probably gonna confuse people if they don't read as well. Uh, you know, even when we were designing it, this was actually a design hurdle that is no longer a hurdle. Uh, that's why I don't have as 
much to say about hurdles right now, but one of the things we had a problem with was that we even kept looking at Pyromancer and seeing a pure DPS class. What this meant is that Pyromancers for the longest time in the alpha didn't even have a healing spell baseline. This meant Flame Weaving had a very awkward level 10 to 15 where you had to pick up every heal you had in the talent trees themselves, and that's because people kept thinking, well, Pyromancer is going to be overpowered if they have a single heal. It's like, well, priests were not overpowered, neither were shamans by lieu of that, and it turns out you can simply design around it and it will be okay. But there was a fear, a fear that if a mage had greater heal, that would be cancer in many ways, right? With the evocations and the resets and all the CC. But Pyromancer is not Fire Mage, and so we came to this realization that they should have slag mend at like level 8 or something like that, and that's completely balanced right now. There have been no issues with that, um, and so I think that that's probably the old real design hurdle. They are not a pure DPS like I said. As I said, they're probably more like a Shadow Priest than a Fire Mage, a Fire Priest one might say. They are squishy, high damage dealers, and for something that may appear typical and traditional on the outside, they actually have some of the most unique design, as I keep saying, I mean it, across all three of their specs of any class in Conquest of Azeroth. It is a truly unique class. I think you have to do that when you're making something like Pyromancer. You'll see this with Stormbringer as well later on, where when we have a class that at face value, it doesn't seem like it's going to wow you, and you think you're going to see the same shit you've seen in every other game, I think there's an imperativeness to that where you think as a designer, I have to make sure this is really going to slap someone in the face with happiness, right? It's really going to be different and cool, and that's what we went for with the Pyromancer. I know our Kantos on the team, very big fan of Pyromancer, um, pretty much designed Incineration Pyro, for example, so we worked hand in hand on uh, Flame Weaving together, and I did a lot of work on Draconic, and so Pyro, I think, came out very, very well, and I think you guys will like it. But overall, guys, that's going to be the video. Uh, Pyromancer is actually a sick class. It's going to be a lot better at 60 than it's actually going to be at 50, but guess what? 60 is around the corner, so come test it out. Tell me what you think. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. Major thanks to all the members on my channel. I love and appreciate you guys, especially while times are slow. I appreciate you sticking it with me, though. I said that backwards, but anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one, and McDoubles out. Thank you.